My name is Shahram Adarangi. I graduated from film school at 19, uh, 1988, actually. And uh, also I got a master's degree in art research that's related to the cinematography. I'm a freelance cinematographer and technical manager of Amarantin in UAE that actually we are taking care of the Deadlight production products for the whole GCC countries. At the um, film school, they were teaching us uh, actually this basic knowledge, nature of the colors, how to combine colors with lines, with surface and dots. And it's coming from traditionally from painting. You have to have eyes on the painting. You have to know how to paint. It's not a matter of the skills. At least you have to understand painting. And uh, because mostly I'm working in studio and most of the time, uh, all those um, subjects that we are shooting, they're under, I cannot call absolute control, but really nearly to be an absolute control. Then we can change everything. We can even change the shirts, we can change the color backgrounds, all those things or something. Those help that at least it's when it's under control, we do that. But when we are going for something for the documentaries, especially when documentaries are about the art, then you have to be clever enough or some, uh, somehow your experience, but all whatever your education will come to help you to how to make the balance during the composition, what to do something. Sometimes you want one really strange composition, then you have to go through that. At the end, the thing is that always catching eyes uh, of an, a cinematographer is the beauty. Then it's nothing than the balance of the light, color, and all those lines and what is the actually what what is the actually shaping your composition. All the elements that are shaping your compositions. Definitely, Dubai is an official uh, TV commercial for uh, Dubai tourism, done by the Dubai tourism offices. Definitely Dubai got the award of the best tourism worldwide in 2013 and the best cinematography in uh, Poland. The di director is um, one of my friends and he's a very experienced, graduated from London Film School man and during the 80s. He's a very talented person and long time working for this Dubai tourism offices. He was a director and he has a very nice, uh, actually, imagination. And uh, the time that we spoke about, uh, I have a long time we were trying to work together. He showed me some mood boards and some of the pictures, even the pictures of that Turkish bat with one DLH 400 and two kinos and one 150. We see even the all the plays of the lights on the wall at the background we did with the aiming one, 150 watt the electric floor to small bucket of water and with the broken glasses and these reflections that was not capable to be with any other light is showing blinking at the, on the wall and these two and that shot is I mean in my opinion the best shot that I ever shot because without those yeah you will see that one with the movement in 60 degrees the light hang the top of this Turkish bath in at 60 degrees. And another one is in the Atlantis. We were not allowed to touch anything. We were not allowed to even use tripod there. What shall we do? And when you're switching on all the lights there, there was a big window toward the aquarium all the sharks and all those big fish they were breaking. And if you're switching on the light, all the lights were just shining on the, on the glass. And also there was no mood. Just it was some sort of ambient light. We switched off everything. And I used five little lights. And for the mark of the candle lights that over the side. And just one single, single lamp of one four feet from the dead side to do just lit up curtain that it was completely vertical. No other light I used on that one. From the start, we knew we have to go with really a few amount of the light. And even sometimes for the windows, we were capable just to use 2.5s per case maximum. 
because the budget was not letting us to take the generator to get. And also, the, uh, we were not we were capable to be really mobile crew. Then we were not capable to just always carry that one together. Then strategy went on using Dedalite and combination of KinoFlow. That time there was no LED. The one that we used LED was just in the developing times. Was almost two years ago. It took it, it took 18 days. And some of the shot, even I used the light in the Sahara because we had a small generator to use that one and mock up the uh, shadows and the, all those things of the candle lights or lanterns of the Sahara that they made. Out. I think we used this 2.5s two in two or three shots. But the whole interiors, I just used these dead lights and uh, um, that uh, Kinoflow Gaffer kit. The reason. We were really in a hurry to finish on the schedule. And uh, although the government was helping us, we had to shoot this this day. That there was no other way. Supposedly for the aquarium set of the in the uh, Dubai Mall, we had just 30 minutes time. And they ruined also this 30 minutes. The very tough, very, very, I can tell you, very unorganized system. The 30 minutes that they gave us that nobody can enter. Even, even again, some uh, visitors were passing by. Even at least less than 30 minutes, we had to finish. And nothing was helping us then, they do light. This, this really set up was the fast. And we will keep a easy plug and play and control and do check, you know, close. With the other lights, you cannot do that. And it's not just a matter of mobility, it's a matter of the, you have magic tools in your case. For me, it's like a mm, 12 color uh, pencil, you know, Pencils, not not pencils. I can tell you um, watercolor. That with the combination of these twelve colors, I can make oh huge amount twelve by twelve colors. You know something like that. This is the thing. The kids of the delight when I take you with when you're taking with you, is bringing some of some of the ideas that they were not capable even to think about that. But at the set, it's linking to you, it's blinking your eyes that oh I can do such thing. Yes, exactly. Actually, there is no picture when there is no light. We cannot even uh, actually um, understand our surroundings when there is no light. Yeah, that's a fact that we cannot deny that. And lighting is the most important thing. The most important thing in this. It's the one that's making your composition actually. All the composition, all the lighting is a matter of light and shadow. You should have the, to control your light. Even if a single source of the light, you have to be capable to control that one. Control with the flag, control with the uh, bounce light from another place, or even covering the light. By the way, those things are all based on experience. There are some general rules, maybe what's the type of three-point uh, lightings, or maybe rim light, or so. There's, these are all the basics. You have to know the basics. But you can, you can get better effects when you know those rules and then you're breaking the rules in total darkness with a single light you can get beautiful effects it matters of the skin tone matters of the hair color i'm speaking about the human being or if you're going for the still life it's a matter of how colorful are the subject how reflective are the surface of your subject these are see all matters if you aim one hmi DLH4 in the darkness on a burgundy textile, you cannot see any effect of the light. It will kill it because it's absorbing. Material is important. These are all important. We can not just speak about lighting and actually don't care about the set decoration, set design. These are all combination of all those things. They are really important thing. And if you know the light, if you know how your like light, light is working, then your set decorator knows that how materials have to show these lights more effective, more uh, visible, more uh, attractive. Then this combination will help you. It's not really a matter of a single light or something. A matter of knowing uh, the material, the lighting, and what you want to express. These things have to be you have the good combination, and at the end, it will make it will give you a picture that everybody will ask how. But at the end, for the dramas, especially for the dramas, this is important. Lighting and all those things has to actually 
be with that story and go through the story actually you can see the picture is perfect but for the ordinance see for us is different for us that we have we have trained eyes and somehow we are considering ourselves as professionals is different but for the ordinary audiences they have to see that was a nice movie just that's it they shouldn't say that that was very beautiful lighting beautiful landscapes or something then that means the director actually went the wrong way and he was not capable to express what is actually in his mind to be honest it's a combination of the mobility and quality and artistry you know I even the, the thing that the, the mind behind this is mind of a cinematographer they do find the gap that was between the somehow um, available lightings then he made it perfectly he knew how to actually the way that to reach to that point and all those accessories that he made particularly for this type of light we have a really open hand and I'm telling you it's exactly like a combination of the 12 colors in a watercolor box you can make this combination something you can make magic and this is because they knew that what is missed exactly in the, the, the lighting tools then actually he focused on that one brought a new era new era to the lighting in the, whether cinema or even broadcasting I'm not using any other light, any other light, never used any other light than the other light since I know the other light. The reason is that the distribution of light is the best, perfect, it's not my word, it's not advertising. This is something that proved already. You can ask so many cinematographers or the others, gaffers or that, that they know that one. Unbeatable till now with any other light cannot beat the quality of the distribution of the light. Second is a control. You cannot find such a small light in any other brand or any other type that you can dim down to the zero even. And you can control the light with very, because it's the nature of the tungsten. Very small amount of the color shift because it is, but by the way, it's, one of the things is you cannot believe that, that how powerful is this small light. They do actually establish the trend of the high quality lighting. He kept this trend and spread it to the LEDs. DLED series, DLED 4, DLED 4.1, 9. I have a good experience with the combination of uh, DLED series and Celeb also. Celeb 200, even Celeb 400. I'm very convenient to work with uh, LEDs and uh, gradually I'm I think also I will uh, transfer to your just the LEDs, especially when you are going to the actual interiors with low level of the power that you can access. It's better to go to something that you can you can have more lights for sending equation, especially those that like you can hide. You will see no light. And now it's also the LED, the LED series going the same trend. You cannot uh, hide except the lights. And with such a, such a precision, I shot one still photo for um, Tefal. There was a very quicker pot that that it was for Tefal. And my problem was broccoli's because the broccoli's, the green broccoli's, whatever you do on the film, you will see it's black. It, it, you have this problem. This is this is nature of the film. It was a slide and it was not uh, negative to be controlled. It directly has to go for the scanning and that was the problem. No chance, what can I do? What can penetrate and show details of this broccoli? Man, the result that I got with the data light made me addicted to these lights. And after Faribourg gave me one of uh, those with the um, DP1 attachment and with the sliding tools, and I was doing somehow, they were saying, it's a magic maker light. What is that? That one, introducing that one, caused that the first sales of the data light, it was good for the first time in my country, someone was buying that amount. It was two kit of K24, I remember, and two DLH 400 sets. I remember the first time that I met Dedo, 
Uh, I was using this at that single uh, DLH4 at the Magic Maker Light, and I shot even some portraits with that one. I was using some for. I remember that time they said, "My lights, these classics, are not good for the shooting portraits." Or, you know, but now you can see how how many people are shooting for the portraits. Then we can find even after 3, 14 years there is no rule. There is no actually proper rule for the lighting. Two years ago, when I was shooting for a TV commercial of Panasonic Lambdash, it's a actually a shaver, rechargeable shaver. The actor was a very good looking British man, and we set uh, one set, set decoration in the studio with some part of the chroma key because it was going from this green screen to that one. It was a special, we sent you also some pictures of the background later. Then everything was fine, we lit up from the top, even we used some kind of flows, the lights from for the backlight, for the dust, and everything was fine. We are going to start. And when the actor came inside the set, I saw he's using two Raven eyeglasses. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because it was really dark, his eyes was that much deep that you were not capable to see like monkeys, to be honest. That that good looking man turned to be a monkey. And there was no way, what shall I do? I remember that, that I, I didn't, pre but I had this whole use eyes in, the, in my, actually, back. Without that whole use eyes, it was impossible to shoot that TV commercial. The whole shots, we used that whole use eyes, aim to his eyes. And you will see, even with the moving, it was moving, moving shot, I will show you, you cannot see the difference. It's not obvious, very, it's actually brought some lights to his eyes and uh, in, a, in a good mood. The thing that nobody was saying that this is dark or something was total darkness. Before that one was total darkness, but with the soft effect of that one and brought some lights to that one, it was very pleasant lighting. And also it was somehow as, as an eye light, it brought very beautiful uh, lights to, to that shot.